lads and lassies, welcome to Spain. You know that old saying, rain, rain, go to Spain and never come back again? Well, the rain's come to Spain and it's here to stay. All right, so nonetheless, gonna do how to, because I want to do how to, even if it is raining. So let's learn how to do a legit method. A method's like pretty much the most cool looking trick ever. It's kind of one of those legit tricks. So let's learn how to do it properly, poke it out, and make it look good. All right, so there's three steps to this. There's step one, there's step two, and then step one plus two, last time I checked my maths, that equals step three. Step one is being able to do a poke out or tweaked out straight up weight to weight. So basically that's where you go and you do a weight to weight, you kind of go in this position and you come back down. Now, how do you do that? Well, there's two aspects to that. The first is you want to suck up your front knee. So that's bringing it up like that. The second part is sticking this back leg out behind you. That can be kind of weird. It can throw you off weight boy. So I'd say for the first one, just bring up that front knee, then try a few where you just put that back leg straight behind you, and then put the two together, and boom, bada bing. OK, so step two to doing the method is being able to do a front hand grab. So probably most grabs, and most grabs you've probably done before this, are all backhand grabs. So like tail grab, indie, stale fish, so on and so forth. Then a front hand grab. These are a little bit harder because when you take your front hand off the handle, it starts to open you up into like a 180, or even worse, a 90. Complete nightmare. Completely nightmare. So the easiest one is either like a melon or a nose grab. And that is kind of about finding out how to resist the 180. So keeping the handle nice and in to your front hip. Getting drenched I am. Step one is to do your legs and the actual pokage. Step two is doing a one-handed front hand off grab. Now, let's put the two together. All right, so you want to come up to the wake, your normal edge in, your normal pop. And I think sometimes people overthink the method as if it's like a big, crazy, insane pro trick and that gets to them. So just take it easy, just relax, breathe, and do it like you normally would do wake to wake. Then as you're getting in the air, it's like everything, it's like spinning, it's up, and then you do the trick. So you wanna get up in the air, and then you wanna try practicing that leg behind you, front knee up, and get the grab there. It's one of those tricks where I think you can kinda of like play around with it, and eventually you'll kinda of get to grips with it. I sometimes don't emphasize this enough in videos that there's no secret to it, that you kind of just have to do it like a load of times. There's no like, if I tell you how to do a back roll, you're not going to learn it. Like you have to actually go and try like 20 to 100 to 200 of them to actually go and land it. Thankfully on the method, you probably won't eat too much shit on it if you play your cards right. You can just do a little cheeky one, back down, and then eventually after like probably realistically a couple months, and I'm sorry that it is a couple months, but it really is, of doing this like two or three times a set, you'll eventually be like, boom, poked out, you'll win the Alliance less than five contest, and you'll just have money coming everywhere, and you'll just be sick. And um, I think that's it really. But yeah, so I do want to emphasize this trick. Realistically, it could come quickly to you if you're kind of like a stylish rider, if you're already post stuff out, but it could take a little bit of time and just be patient with it. Patience is a virtue. And yeah, so just keep at it and I promise you, you will nail it. If you just be patient, put in the time, put in the work, you will nail the method and it will be sick. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, kind of comment below, I can help you out or whatever. And of course, if you're looking for some online coaching for weightboarding, hit up www.dockwake.com. And uh, yeah, we've got some online coaching, loads more how-to videos and tutorials there. New ones coming every week. It's just a good old website. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to watch some more videos. Oh, by the way, I wasn't going to actually film this how-to because it's pretty diabolical weather. Then I saw all the comments on Facebook and stuff, and I was like, ah, can't be letting them down now. So thank you so much for giving me the old motivation to get out there and film it anyway. And now I'm going to go and have a hot shower, and then I'm going to edit this. Thanks for watching. <laughs>